Hi everybody, Chief Andrew Smith, Green Bay Police Department. A beautiful Green Bay day here, short sleeves, no jacket, 73 degrees outside. I went out for a walk, went and took a look at the uh, level of the water out on the Fox River and it's high, uh, not as high as it's gonna be this weekend. We're a little worried about flooding, but the, I realized it's the first time I walked around in short sleeves since probably October last year. If you do the math, if you're not living in the, uh, in the up north, then uh, you'll understand how happy we are to have days like this in Green Bay. Here's your numbers. 11,275 COVID cases in Wisconsin, 1,999 here in Brown County, positive cases that is, 21 people uh, died here in Brown County of the COVID so far year to date. Um, <clears throat> anecdotally, I did get tested on Monday, I just got my results back, uh, and I'm not COVID positive, so that's good. Um, listen, the last, last few days have been really confusing for everybody about what's going on and the Supreme Court of Wisconsin changed the rules and said you can't enforce that and it was done procedurally wrong and then the Brown County Health Department came up with their own rules as of two o'clock today which is seven minutes ago that Brown County Health Department order has been rescinded so there is no longer a Brown County Health Department order asking people or requiring people to do all those things that they were doing which is um, you know bars closed businesses closed restaurant closed all that stuff what we have now is there's no order. So, um, and our officers weren't gonna go out and force that anyway. We're not gonna write tickets for that. We we're certainly not gonna arrest people for gathering more than five. But as of now, there's nothing to be concerned about. Um, there is no rule or law that is binding that will keep people from gathering or going out to a bar or whatever they want. The only thing that we have now is common sense and voluntary compliance. Common sense in that we are still at a hot spot for the COVID here in Brown County. Um, we have voluntary compliance, which means try not to gather in big groups. Remember to wear your masks. Everybody in the station is wearing masks. And uh, every time we leave our, I leave my office, I put a mask on. Wash our hands obsessively like Felix Unger. I feel like I'm Felix. For those of you who are a little bit older and remember who Felix is, the woman behind the camera shaking her head going, I have no idea who Felix is. Anyway, you can look it up. Uh, we, are, we are washing our hands, we're washing our cars, we're not gathering in big groups, we're not doing training in enclosed environments with groups of officers. We're wearing our face masks and our protective equipment when we go out into the field. Um, you know, our, our building is being obsessively clean. We should all be doing that. We should all continue to do that. Most importantly, if you're sick, don't come to work. That's a message everybody here has. If you got a runny nose or you feel like a cold or cough or something, there's no reason to be here. We will get by without you for the temporary time that you're gone. We'd rather have you back healthy than here spreading uh, whatever around in our station. So the big message for today is the health department issue has been rescinded. There is no health department order that is saying that you can't go out and go out in these businesses and, and patronize your local coffee shop or tavern or whatever. But we ask you, please use common sense. Please continue to, uh, to do those things that you know that you need to do to keep yourself and your peers and your loved ones safe. Voluntary compliance is the order of the day. We're just asking for voluntary compliance. Please, let's all work together. We can get through this. And uh, it, it, we're only gonna be able to do it if we all work together. Uh, one other incident here in Green Bay I wanna tell everybody about. We had a shooting last night. Uh, it was over on about 11 o'clock at night, 600 block of West Walnut in the alley in the back. Sounds like there were two people shooting. There's two different calibers of uh, spent shell casings on the ground. Doesn't appear that anybody was hit. We're not sure what they were shooting at. They hit a house and they hit a vehicle. Um, not sure if that was their intent. Uh, our detectives are working on it. If you have any information about that, give our detectives a holler. They'll get to the bottom of this as we do with all these cases. So, good news here in Green Bay. It's a beautiful day. The health department order has been lifted. Um, I hope people get outside, but please Remember, voluntary compliance, use common sense. Remember, if you've got someone that's got medical conditions or is a little bit older, they're very, very vulnerable to this coronavirus, which is still very, very present here in Green Bay. So let's work together. Let's stick together. Let's keep everything clean and continue using our protective equipment. And uh, we'll work through this as the rest of the next couple weeks come through. So with that, as I always say, we got this, Green Bay. Have a great weekend.